Hello artists! Today we are going to be making some monotype prints. Monotype means there's only one type of this print. No matter how hard you try, you're never going to be able to duplicate or make the same thing exactly again. We need some pretty simple supplies that you probably have around your house. Some sort of paper. I have two different kinds. I have a sketchbook and I have this little notebook of paper. You're going to need something for the printing process. I have two different options here, but you only need one. So I have some aluminum foil, or I have an old plastic bag. I had some art supplies in this, but I just took the art supplies out for now, and I'll be able to, to put the art supplies back in later. Two more supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need some sort of washable markers, and then you're going to need something to get your paper wet. Don't get your paper wet yet, but you can use a damp cloth or you can use a spray bottle, whichever you have available to you. So like I said before, monotype prints means there's only one of a kind. We're gonna practice making several different mono prints today. I can't wait to see what you come up with. You have all your supplies, your paper, your markers, your water, and your aluminum foil or bag. I'm using my aluminum foil and I'm just going to draw a rainbow design on here. This can be really anything, but try to fill up your whole piece of aluminum foil so you can really see what works best as you start your printing process. After you've colored it all in, grab some paper. You can see my paper has some marks on it already. That's fine because this is just a practice. Go ahead and get it wet. I used my spray bottle trying to get it evenly wet. Now here's the trick. You're going to press your paper on top of the aluminum foil and then gently rub across the back of the paper to make sure your paper touches the aluminum foil everywhere. So it's getting that marker up onto the paper. Then you peel it off and voila, your first print is done. Now I still have quite a bit of marker left, so I'm gonna show you how to do this with a wet rag. This damp rag, this cloth I just Gently got my little paper wet, pressed it down, same thing. I want to try to evenly press across the back of that paper so it picks up that marker. And as soon as I'm done, peel it up and I have another print. And now, you can just clean this off by using, if you have a damp rag, you can wipe it off, you can rinse it off in the sink. You can reuse more of that print, but here's the thing. You don't want to use that rag to clean off your aluminum foil and then try to wet your paper down because it's going to leave some gross marks on it. Now your next print you're going to do is something that has designs. So I chose to write words just to give you an example that if you do choose words, you need to write them backwards <laughs> because if you write them from left to right, they're going to turn out backwards on your print, but you don't have to use words it's completely up to you. I just drew some random designs here, different shapes. You could choose to draw a picture, but that's the main thing on this one is to choose some sort of design. So you can choose a, to draw a pattern, you can draw different blocks of color. It's completely up to you. Now just a second ago I was measuring to make sure that my paper was that my design was going to fit my paper because I would hate to have my design get way way too big and then I wouldn't be able to have it all on on my paper all the things that I worked so hard to draw so Go ahead and get your paper wet. Make sure, try to get the water to distribute evenly on the paper. You don't want a bunch of big puddles of water. And then go ahead and press it down onto your aluminum foil or your marker, wherever you have your marker. Trying to give it a gentle back rub all around. And then go ahead and peel it up. See how it turned out. See if there's anything you can kind of work on. I notice on mine, Got some big wet spots that didn't turn out too good. 
right away. So I'll keep that in mind as I work on my next print. Now, for this last print, what I would like you to do, so you're gonna do three prints all together, I would like you to draw something on your paper first and then print over that drawing. So you can draw anything you would like. I chose to draw some flowers. These are some simple flower outlines. I just found these online and I've really liked drawing spring flowers lately so I wanted to add them into my printing process here. After you get done you drawing, then you're going to choose whatever you want to do for your monotype print. So I decided that I didn't want to try to color in the flowers exactly, I just wanted some different colors as a kind of an overlay to the drawing that I had already done. And I chose three colors, you could choose more than three. One thing you're going to want to be careful of um, is coloring over, like I wouldn't want to color my pink over my blue because it would make a weird spot on the marker. So. Make sure you sign it before you put your printing on and go ahead and get that paper wet. I used a Sharpie on part of it and then I also used a crayon. Get your printing paper ready, press it down gently all across the back. On this one I thought I did a much better job of evenly distributing the water and I was really really happy with how it turned out super excited and even once it dried it looked a lot better so don't worry if it's a little bit blotchy at the, when you just pull it off as it dries it will even out a little bit now very last what I'm going to show you is one other option if you don't have washable markers but you have watercolor paint you could put watercolor paint on your aluminum foil or on your plastic bag whichever you choose to use this is watercolor paint, I just have it in some watercolor paint markers. You're going to want to be careful because if you get too much paint, it's going to run everywhere and make a big mess. But I'm just pressing this paper on here. You're not really going to need to get your paper wet, but I'm showing you the, the two options here. You're not going to get, need to get it very wet because the watercolor paper or the watercolor paint is already pretty wet. You can see the difference. The one on the top I didn't get what the one on the bottom I did. So just as a quick review here, you are going to need to make three prints. Okay? Your first print is going to be a practice print. I would like you to fill up the whole paper. Use multiple colors. See what works best. Your second print I want you to do some sort of drawing. Use some designs. Maybe try some words. If you're feeling brave, you can do it. It might be tricky, but I know you can do it. And your third print, have a design drawn in the background and print over that design. Draw with crayon or with some kind of permanent marker. And now it does not have to be black and with color over the top of it. You can use any color of crayon, any color of marker that you choose. So there's my practice print. Here's my drawing with designs. And lastly, here's my print with that's over the top of a drawing. Make sure you sign your drawing so that we all know who made this beautiful creation. Good luck and have fun. I cannot wait to see what you create.